Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in. I'm Jenna Stauffer. My first guest this morning, he's a local entertainer who's going to be hosting a concert to raise funds for an organization called Women for Afghan Women. Now, the photos you see behind me, this is actually one of the many women that this organization has saved. To give you a little background on her, she was sold into a forced marriage at the age of 13 by her stepbrother. When this young lady was unable to get pregnant, her in-laws tried to force her into prostitution. When she refused, she was locked in a basement, she was beaten, she was tortured, and given little food and water. She was thankfully rescued by police and then put in protective custody of women for Afghan women. Again, this is just one of the many women that this organization has helped. They're on a mission to help secure and protect these women's rights to develop their full potential and self-determination. Bobby, thank you for being on the show with me this morning. It's a pleasure. <laughs> well, Always a pleasure. It's a pleasure having you on. And Bobby, I know you're on a mission to raise funds for this amazing organization. Yes. Um, it's something that has come to, to my attention just through a series of circumstances. Uh, but of course the issue is something that we've been aware of for 10 years. We've been involved in this war in this country uh, longer than any other war in our country's history. And even before then we saw the pictures of the things that were being done to uh, women by these radical extremists, you know, that just want to keep women down. And, uh, y you know, you, you, you feel for it as a compassionate man, as, as a man who loves and respects women. It bothers you, but what can you do as an individual? Now something has come along that has given me a chance to actually do something. It may be just a small drop in the bucket compared to the enormity of the whole problem, but it's something. Mm -hmm. um, How did it come about? Bob? Well, it, ca it had to do with a screenplay and a gentleman that I met at my church. Uh, his name is Fareed Osman. He visited my church in November of last year. This man had just done eight years as a Navy SEAL in Afghanistan at as an interpreter because mm -hmm. he spent his childhood in the country and uh, he speaks the language and he is also an advisor at the very highest levels to the United States government on Afghan affairs Congress State Department White House mm -hmm. and uh, so he visited my church I got to know him I found out about his involvement with these uh, organizations like women for Afghan women and uh, an organization that he founded himself the Sharbat uh, Gula Justice Center which he is a co-founder and the thrust of all these things is to advocate for women's rights in uh, in Afghanistan and even some other parts of the world where the you know the war-torn countries where things are very unstable mm -hmm. and this is a critical issue I can't put it any better than our Secretary of State did uh, just a short time ago at the conference of 70 nations for Afghan uh, aid to Afghanistan and she was quoted in Time magazine. Hillary Clinton said, no nation can have peace, stability, and economic growth when one half of the population is not empowered. Mm -hmm. we're, talk we're, not talking to, you know, we're not talking about a minority anymore that's disadvantaged. We are talking about half the population. Mm -hmm. This is about women's rights. Mm -hmm. And it's really a worldwide issue. But the focus of it is, 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 is especially vivid in this country. Afghanistan is a totally devastated, war-torn country. Do you know that the average life expectancy there is 44 years? That's the shortest in the world. It's the most dangerous place in the world for women. They are routinely, uh, systematically abused. They're subject to rape, abduction, uh, forced marriages, and, and even sold as property, as this little girl was that you saw on the screen. Her name is Sahar Ghul, and you can Google her name uh, Sahar, S-A-H-A-R, like Sahara Desert without the A, Sahar Ghul, G-U-L. And there was just an article uh, in the New York Times on, the, on July 31st and August 12th giving an update on this mm -hmm. case. And you can find that online if you really want to find the details. Right, uh, and she, she is recovering. She is yes, doing much, yes, much better thanks to the organization, sure. Women for Afghan Women, which you are raising funds about. And we're going right. to take a quick break right now, Bobby. But when we get back from these messages, we'll hear more about the concert you're putting on, along with talking more about this organization. Stay with us. 